Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today we're going to talk about how to download an update manually. For some people, they're unable to have Wi-Fi in their home for health reasons, or maybe they don't have access to Wi-Fi and they have to go somewhere else with their computer to download it. So we're looking at the screen on my tablet and what we're going to do is we're going to more or less go through the process of, of what you would do if you were at your computer. You want to go to Brother USA support for the XP1. We'll go ahead and select that link and we'll go to that site and we'll give it a moment. And then the next thing you'll see is this is where you can get your manuals, you can get downloads, and then you can also read the warranty statements and also look up questions that are frequently asked. And I'll just roll this up so you can see it. We want to go to Downloads and Drivers. And when you go to Downloads and Drivers, we'll go give it a moment while it loads that window, you need to select the type of software that you have. And you'll be able to see on the screen that there's an update available as of 12-19-2019. So what you would select is your operating system. Mine happens to be Windows. You'll select which Windows operating system and choose OK. Now when you do that, there are some notes here that you can read. And I'll just move the screen up so you can see it. And then you can also see the size of the files. I'll pan this over so you can see everything. And what you want to choose is to update software. When you select that, you'll go through and there are some notes that you can read, but you'll have to agree to the EULA and download statement. So I'm going to do that by touching that at the bottom of the screen. Then you'll see the information about what is included in this update. And you can see that what's included in this update is improved camera recognition to detect the buttonhole foot, improved machine functionality for embroidery patterns connecting with the built-in camera. You'll see improvements with My Design Center and then also with quilt sashing if you have Upgrade Kit 1. And then also improvements with my stitch monitor if you have upgrade kit one. There will also be information t sharing with you what you need to do in order to install this. So this is for those people whose software version is lower than 2.04. So this would be how you would get the file to a USB stick. I'll record a separate video showing how to do the update at the machine. Thank you for your time today. I'm Terry Maffin. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your help today. And as you can see, here, here is the file that would download to a USB stick. 